Hi, this is Tyler Disney, lead BIM engineer for Integral Group Oakland. Uh, welcome to the first movie in the uh, Welcome to Revit at IG series. Uh, in this one, in this video, we're going to figure out how to safely open a model. Um, so, a couple things, a couple basics, a couple rules. Never ever open a model from Windows Explorer. So, don't ever go find a Revit model and double click on it. Always, always, always open a model from Revit. Open Revit, go to open, find the model. So uh, never, never double click on a Revit model that you find in the wild, as it were. Uh, second thing is that Revit model files are not backwards compatible. So what that means is, uh, a model is going to be version 13, version 14, version, you know, whatever. Um, and so if I've got a model that's, uh, that, was, that is in Revit 14, I have to use Revit 14 to open and use it. Um, I just can't use Revit 13, it won't let me. And if I try to use Revit 15, it'll upsave the model to version 15, and if I save it, then that model is forever going to be version 15, and that can have really dire consequences. You can't, uh, you can't kind of recover from that. So always know what, always know what version model you're dealing with. Lots of times it'll be easy because we'll put the version in the model file, but sometimes we won't do that because of uh, model naming conventions that we have to conform to. If that's a situation. Uh, the workflow to figure out what version your Revit model is, is to guess, to open it. Uh, if Revit says that the model was open, was created with a later version of Revit, it means you've guessed too low. And if you open it and it starts, uh, if it says, okay, currently upgrading the model, that means you've guessed too high. That's okay as long as you don't save or synchronize. Simply close without saving. Uh, revise your guess down a version and then open it again. So, all right, enough talk, let's open it. So, uh, open Revit 2014, go to open, find the model that you are going to work in. Single click it, and then what you want to look for here is you want to make sure that create new local is checked. If it's not checked or if it's grayed out, uh, something might be going wonky. Um, so if this is if this is grayed out, ask someone for help. But this looks good, so hit open. Uh, if you've recently opened the model, it'll ask you to overwrite, it'll ask you if you want to overwrite the um, your local file. I always do, because if you don't, then your, your hard drive will fill up with really large files. So you're fairly likely to see a message like this. Uh, Revit cannot read or find or read one reference files. That just means there's a link that it's not sure where it is. Um, if, you're, if you're fairly new to the project and fairly new to Revit, just go ahead and ignore this. Um, if, if you're a model manager, of course, you need to figure that out. Um, okay, so here we are. You should, you should uh, find yourself on the splash page or the sync to central view, which is found here. Um, so now that we've gone in, uh, the second skill you need to master is how to get out. So there's two ways you can get out. You can get out without saving, and you can get in with saving. So if you, uh, so the tricky thing is, is since this is a work shared model, uh, if you just if you click around in here and touch some stuff and then just close it, you might still be the owner of some elements, thereby locking those elements from being uh, touched by anyone else. So you need to fix, so you need to know how to gracefully exit uh, a model. And to gracefully exit a model, close and then close. And it says, okay, so you've made changes to the file that have not been saved. What do you want to do? If you're not trying to save your changes, like you're just poking around, hit do not save the project and then hit relinquish all elements and work sets. That will allow you to gracefully exit the model without saving any changes you might have made and not locking anyone else out of the model. Uh, so that's what you would click if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, but what I actually want to do is I want to show how to great how to save your work. Save so you've popped in, you've made some changes, and you want to leave, but you want to save. Uh, hitting the save button is not the right thing to do. That will just save your local model, your local file, which is on your uh, your hard drive. It is. It's, 
So you, it's probably going to be in your My Documents. So let's see, OS2 Commons. So this is the local model that I'm actually in right now. Um, when you create when you create a new local from the central model, uh, it sticks a lo local model right here, and that's what you're working in. And then what you actually want to do instead of saving, so if I click Save, it would just save this, but it wouldn't impact the central model. So whenever I want to save my work, I want to hit Synchronize with Central. And it'll actually, what this does is it saves your local, then synchronize with, synchronizes with central. So it both pushes your changes to the central model and pulls any changes that have happened to the central model since you last synced. And then it saves your local file again. So don't ever bother hitting the save button. Just go ahead and hit synchronize with central, which you can also hit uh, by just hitting that button. So that's how to open a model, that's how to figure out what version a model is, that's how to exit without saving, and that's how to save your work um, and then exit.